Welcome to the studio. I'm Nick Stowe. Last week, I uploaded a video on the Selmer Mark VI, comparing its sound to my Yamaha 62, my usual workhorse horn. Um, and uh, like I said in the video, I was stunned by the difference in the tone between the two. I didn't think it was going to be that much of an impact. Uh, but the Mark VI that I'm playing on, I think it's got some issues with its key work and stuff. For one, the intonation is kind of wonky. And two, I'm having a hard time playing some of the notes, getting them to speak. Um, so I think it just needs to be properly adjusted, which is expected with any horn, especially a vintage one. What I want to do now is compare the sounds on my classical setup. So I'm playing on a Van Doren uh, TL4 mouthpiece. It's the Optimum series. And I have a um, Legere, I think it's a three and a half reed. Um, I also play on Queen by Brigati. I have a size four on there and it sounds nice. It works really well. So yeah, uh, I pulled out some Fairling Etudes and made another comparison video. Thank you. 
Okay, so what do you think? Is there a difference in the sound between the vintage Mark VI and the modern Yamaha 62? My own opinion after listening back at the recordings, I really don't hear a, a huge difference in the sound. The biggest difference I hear is how I had to struggle through the Mark VI because there was an issue with the octave key mechanism and some of the notes aren't speaking very well. So again, that horn really needs to be tuned up um, before I can make a really conclusive decision. But I think the fact that it needs that much work on it needs to be factored into the risk involved in owning one, right? Um, or the, at least the expenses in owning one. First of all, it's a very expensive horn, more expensive than any modern horn. And then you're going to have to pay a lot of money to a really talented repair tech to get it worked on. I'm, I'm assuming regularly, like probably once a year. So is it really worth it? If you're mostly playing classical music, absolutely not. I don't hear any difference between the Yamaha and the Selmer. In fact, I might like the Yamaha a little better, just based on sound quality alone. Um, but if you're a roadie, if you're playing straight ahead, uh, if you're in a big band, if you're uh, in the commercial music industry, that Mark VI sound is what everybody identifies with. The saxophone. Too many great players have used it and it's just got such a, a powerful sound um, on a jazz setup. Classical, I, I can't make much of a difference. So again, what do you think? Let me know in the comments. Um, like, Go ahead and like the video and you can subscribe if you want. <laughs> I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to be making some more videos every now and then, so stay tuned for that. Um, all right. Let's, let's see where this takes us. I might do some more comparisons with some other rep, but really I, I think I might be done with the comparison videos now because the, the Selmer seems to be getting worse the more I play it. It needs to get adjusted. So I might have to wait till I get it adjusted to make any more videos on it. Um, and then at that point, I don't know. It's still not mine, by the way. I, I don't own the, the Selmer. I'm... Uh, I have a buddy who's trying to pawn it off on me, and I'm trying it out, see if I like it. And I, I, I have mixed reviews. I really love the sound on jazz. It's not going to replace my Yamaha. I'm still going to want my Yamaha for classical tenor, which I know is a very niche <laughs> category. There's not a whole lot of work out there for classical tenor. But hey, you never know. I might get into a quartet or, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm teaching lessons. So I, I want to keep that. I, I need to practice more, apparently. Going back and playing those Fairling Etudes, man, it's been a while. Some of them are pretty tough. If you spend some time away from it, you really have to grind your teeth again to get back up there to where you were. So... To all those of you watching and, uh, you know, looking at all of my inconsistencies or my mistakes, let that be a lesson. Go practice. Thank you for watching. Go ahead and like the video. Leave a comment. Tell me what you think about the two different horns. And uh, go ahead and subscribe to the channel. Why not? You know, I, I might be making some more videos. And if you like this kind of stuff, let's take this journey together. Okay. Thank you for watching.